Temperature measurement for many processes is the primary measurement value in a variety of industries and applications. The measurement of temperature may seem pretty straightforward. However, temperature impacts profits, safety and quality. So measuring it right the first and every time is important. Emerson's Temperature Insights is a series of brief training presentations to help engineers gain a better understanding of temperature measurement. All Temperature Insights are based upon the Engineer's Guide to Industrial Temperature Measurement, a go-to guide from Emerson Process Management. Today's Temperature Insight covers multiple ways to connect RTD and thermocouple sensors to the control system and why long sensor wires should be avoided. For many years the common practice for wiring RTDs or thermocouples was to connect the sensor wires directly to the control room. However, this technique, commonly known as wired direct, results in loss of accuracy due to long sensor wires and related interference, like noise from several sources. Sensor wires act as an antenna and pick up electromagnetic interference noise from sources from nearby pumps, motors and radios. Another installation used is remote I.O. or multiplexers. These are usually located near the RTD or thermocouple sensors and reduce, but not eliminate, the sensor wire lengths. Remote I.O. and multiplexers have suboptimal performance. They cannot perform any advanced diagnostics and often require external power. Today, the commonly accepted best practice is to use transmitters. Transmitters provide excellent noise immunity, superior performance and many diagnostics on the installation. They also have the lowest cost of ownership. An example of noise immunity can be seen when comparing EMI effect on a sensor wired directly to the control room versus using a transmitter with the sensor. Wired direct sensors have an unstable signal versus a transmitter that has a solid, consistent output. In addition to performance, engineers need to consider the cost of ownership. This includes instrumentation, materials, labour for installation and commissioning, and engineering. In this comparison, it is clear the labour costs and materials associated with multiplexers and wire direct are significant. When looking at the overall cost comparisons, a transmitter has the lowest cost. The best approach is to minimise the sensor wire length and to use a locally mounted transmitter. It supports the best temperature measurement accuracy, reliability, diagnostics and noise immunity and has the lowest cost of ownership. For more information on the importance of sensor wire length and installation as well as temperature basics, engineering, design, maintenance, calibration best practices and more Order your complimentary copy of the Engineer's Guide to Industrial Temperature Measurement.